How are you, students? I am hot. Oh my God. I'm very hot in here and I cannot turn on the fan because it makes too much noise and then it's difficult to understand it very well, okay? But I'm hot here at school, in my classroom, in our English classroom, at our study center, okay? But what about you? Are you in your house? Are you traveling? Are you on the beach? Where are you? Are you in Telemaco? Are you in Ponta Grossa, Curitiba, São Paulo? Where are you? Okay, because I'm here in, for sure, in Telemaco, it's very hot today, okay? But even though I'm here for us to have one more English class, okay? So let's go, people. Let's get together for our English class. We are almost there, remember? Just a little bit more and then we are done, okay? And so, people, today we are going to have a continuation about what we did in our last class, okay? So, last class, uh, we did one exercise only. Uh, of this page here, of page 105, okay? And so that's what we are going to do now. We are going to have a continuation, okay? So you guys are going to open your books to page 105. Last class, we did the exercise number 27. Today, we are going to do the exercise 28 and also the exercise 29, okay? So please, open there your book page 105 and there we go so there we go students okay so the teacher changed here the board a little bit just for us to have more space to write and then you can copy it better okay so don't forget it page 105 exercise number 28 okay so what do we have to do guys uh, in this exercise look at there look at your book exercise 28 Write sentences using the simple present form of the verbs in the passive voice. Okay, passive voice. What is the passive voice? Passive voice is feito, falado, construído, nadado, dormido, reformado, plantado, uh, cozinhado, and other verbs. Nesse, nesse tipo de terminação, tá bom? So look at there the number one as example. Number one, we have bananas grow in Mexico. Okay, so we have bananas. Grow means crescer, tá? But in this contest, it's a little bit different. In this contest, we think grow is like uh, plantar ou colher, tá? Que dela vai crescer. So, bananas grow in Mexico. So, the sentence that we have in there, bananas are, because of plural, because of plural, okay? So, as bananas são, e não bananas é. Bananas são. Bananas are grown in Mexico, okay? Bananas are grown in Mexico, okay? Let's check it out the number two, okay? So look at there, the number two, we have cattle, cattle é gado, tá? No sentido geral, boi, vaca, enfim, então a gente trabalha com plural, tá bom? Então, cattle, raise in Argentina, tá? Então é como se fosse o gado, ele cresce na Argentina, tá? Ele é cultivado, enfim. I don't know how they use that in Portuguese, ok? So what is the sentence gonna be? Os gados são criados, por exemplo, na Argentina. So cattle, remember I said to you that we use it cattle in plural. So we have to use are. Cattle are, ok? The passive voice of the verb to raise is raised. So cattle are raised in Argentina. Okay, o gado é criado na Argentina. Cattle are raised in Argentina. Okay, copy there. Cattle are raised in Argentina. Number three, guys. Number three, we have there silver, jewelry. Okay, did you? I, I'm moving here for you to copy, okay? Then you have time to copy. Silver, jewelry, make in New Mexico. Okay, então joias prateadas, tá? Joias de prata, fazer no Novo México. Ou seja, as joias são feitas no México, ou a joia prateada é feita no México, singular, tá? So, silver jewelry is made in New Mexico, ok? So, silver 
Jerry. Is make teacher no is made made in New Mexico. Okay, so silver jewelry is made in New Mexico. Is made in New Mexico. Cattle are raised in Argentina. Silver jewelry is made in New Mexico. Okay? People number four, cotton produce on special farms around the world. Okay? So remember that cotton is algodão. Okay? So algodão, produzir em fazendas especiais ao redor do mundo. Ou seja, o algodão é produzido e por aí vai. Okay? So, Cotton is produced. Produced. Cotton is produced. Que mais? On special farms around the world. On special farms. Around the world. Cotton is produced on special farms around the world. Now you have time to copy, okay? Cattle are raised in Argentina. Silver jewelry is made in New Mexico. Cotton is produced on special farms around the world. Okay? Copy it, please, people, because we have to continue it. We have to go ahead. Okay? People. Uh, now we are going to continue in the same page, okay? But now we are going to do the exercise number 29, okay? Exercise 29 is the last exercise that we have in this page. And it's very similar, it's very similar of the, the exercise before. Look at there, 29. Write sentences using the simple past form of the verbs in the passive voice, okay? The only difference, guys, is that now we are going to use the verb to be in the past, okay? So, in the exercise before, we used the verb to be in present, but now we are going to use the verb to be in the past, okay? So, look at there. Write sentences uh, using the simple past form of the verbs in the passive voice. The chocolate nut candy bar, okay? Aquela barrinha de chocolate que a gente conhece. Create Canada, ou seja, a barra de chocolate, ok? Nut, de amendoim, de castanha. Criado, criar, ou criada, Canadá. Então, a gente vai ter que falar que ela foi criada no Canadá, ok? So, how is it gonna be? So, it will be there, the chocolate nut candy bear, bar, sorry, not bear, bar, was created in Canada, okay? So, I will write here for you, okay? Don't worry. So, the chocolate nut candy bar, se vocês conseguirem, já pode ir escrevendo antes do teacher escrever, tá? So, the chocolate nut candy bar was created in Canada. Was created in Canada. The number two, the shopping cart invent the United States. Aquele, aquele carrinho de supermercado, sabe? Que a gente vai, vai, vai e enche ele. Que os pais de vocês enchem de comida. The shopping cart invent the United States. Então, aquele carrinho de supermercado inventar Estados Unidos. Ou seja, ele foi inventado nos Estados Unidos. Que é como a gente vai escrever. In English, the shopping cart was invented in the United States. Right there. The shopping cart 
was invented in the United States. Okay? The shopping cart was invented in the United States. Okay? And guys, the number three. The first patented karaoke machine make the Philippines, ok? Então, a primeira máquina de karaoke patenteada, ok? Fazer Filipinas. Ou seja, a primeira máquina de karaoke, a gente vai tratar assim, assim com vocês. Então, a primeira máquina de karaoke foi feita nas Filipinas, tá? Ok, teacher, and how is it in English? So, in English, the first patented karaoke machine was made in the Philippines. The first patented karaoke machine was made in the Philippines. Okay? Now that I read for you, I asked you to write, but now I will write here on the board and then it's easier for you to correct. Okay? Let's go. I will write here right now. As I told you, I wrote here on the board the sentences that we were supposed to write in there, okay? So, the number one, the chocolate, the chocolate nut candy bar was created in Canada, okay? The chocolate nut candy bar was created in Canada. The number two, the shopping cart was invented in the USA or the United States. So, the shopping cart was invented in the USA. Number three, the first patented karaoke machine was made in the Philippines. The first patented karaoke machine was made in the Philippines. Okay? And students, that's all for today. Uh, that, that was just for us to finish this unit number eight, okay, for you to really learn it, this kind of structure, okay, and that's all for today. Take care of yourselves. I really, really hope to see you soon, okay? Bye-bye, people. I've missed you.